Hi, I'm Marcus Christian. Welcome to the Cyber Sidebar. What can cyber criminals do with as little as a three second recording of your voice? They can clone it with generative AI, create a fraudulent audio message that sounds like you have an emergency and send that message to your loved one, friend or colleague requesting money or something else of value. The fake crisis might be an accident, a lost wallet, a kidnapping, an arrest, or even a business expense. The list is virtually limitless, and cyber criminals are targeting businesses as well as individuals. In a recent study by McAfee, 70% of participants admitted to lacking confidence that they can distinguish between an actual voicemail from a loved one and a cloned version from a criminal. That figure strongly suggests that this scam will continue to grow. Earlier this year, an Arizona mother answered a call and she heard what sounded like her daughter's sobbing voice saying, Mom, I messed up. A male voice then told the woman, Listen here, I've got your daughter. This is how it's going to go down. You call the police, you call anybody. I'm going to pop her so full of drugs I'm going to have my way with her, and I'm going to drop her off in Mexico. He initially demanded $1 million for the daughter's return. This was the mother's worst nightmare. But she was fortunate to be with other people at the time, people who immediately came to her assistance. One called 911. Another called the woman's husband. Within minutes, they were able to confirm that the daughter was safe and was never in danger. The criminals likely used AI to clone the daughter's voice. Here are several ways to reduce the risk of falling for a voice cloning scam. One, limit the information you share publicly. Voice cloning scammers exploit social media posts and other public information to stack the odds in their favor when targeting victims. Two, Designate a verbal code word for true emergencies and share it only with others who reasonably might contact you during an emergency. Number three is for businesses and other organizations. Implement robust financial controls and follow them. One such control might prevent the authorization of any financial transaction based solely on an incoming telephone call, regardless of who the caller claims to be or seems to be. Another control might require the advanced written approval of multiple executives for transactions above a certain amount. And four, consider reporting any voice cloning scam or attempted scam to law enforcement. I hope that this video provides useful information about AI generated voice cloning scams and how to protect yourself against them. I'm Marcus Christian, and I thank you for watching the Cyber Sidebar. Be well, Stay safe and make a positive difference in the lives of others.